Hey everyone, how are you? Pastor Rod here in Tokyo, Japan. We're doing a series on Proverbs, wisdom to win. I believe in winning and God has a way. Now, this this scripture is very simple. It just says, if you keep falling over, keep getting up. Here we go. It's Proverbs 24, 16. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. But the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Now, we all know the, the boxing concept of uh, the winner is the one who just keeps getting up and, and keeps going. You know, the old Rocky movies are so so interesting and, and famous because someone kept getting knocking down that you wanted to win and then they got up and you felt great. Well, what about our lives? And and God says the righteous keep getting up, keep going on. And and there's other sports um, uh, analogies. One is it's, it, the game is not over till the, 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 the refs last whistle so keep going keep playing till the end or it's not over till you finish you cross the finishing line these are all analogies about life that we do get knocked down but what are we going to do i remember when i was a young uh, salesman about i don't know 23 or something and um and um i really wanted to get a job in the pharmaceutical industry selling you don't really sell pharmaceuticals to doctors but you present them and hope they will prescribe them if it's a good product so my role was to always get in front of doctors and uh and and share but to get that job that dream job i applied for 33 jobs now back in those days back in the old days there was no emails can you believe it no emails what did you do well you wrote letter you wrote you wrote letters and you 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 wrote them and typed them out in snail mail, we called it. I think it's still called snail mail, so slow, like a snail. And um, as I sent out 33, you know, not in one day, but 33 over time, I kept either getting no response or occasionally a response saying you're not suitable for this job. And and I was down. And every time you get a, a rejection, you sort of go down. But I, I learned to journal, to da- daily get up and read God's word. And this is a really encouraging scripture. It says, though the righteous fall or fail seven times, they rise again, they get up again, they wake up again, they, uh, they, they keep going. But the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Or um, one, one Bible version says, when, when, when you're wronged or when you're harmed, you give up. And, and so the, the concept of being with God and sensing his strength and, and vision and righteousness is, yes, I might be down this night, but tomorrow I'll get up again. And as a pastor, I've said to my young pastors, if you have a bad day, that's okay. Well, you know what I mean. It, it's Life's going to go on. What I suggest you do is have a good sleep, read the word, wake up, and tomorrow is another day. And I've always had that attitude, even in sales or pastoring or whatever I've done, bad day, um, okay, God's with me, but tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is another chance. And I, and I think it's really along these lines that this scripture is really true. Now, let me read to you what Jesus said about hard times. This is really, really important to us. It's in Matthew 7, 24 to 27. He talks about building your house upon the rock or the sand. I'm sure you've heard about it, but I want to bring up something really interesting in these scriptures from the original language. You ready? It's uh, Matthew 7, 24. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and they beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. Now, this is really the same. It's saying that the righteous who have their faith in God on the rock, on Jesus, that even though it's a bad day, uh, we can come back, we can get up, we can go again with God's strength, with his word, with journaling and getting a fresh word in our hearts. And the righteous put their put their roots into listening and obeying God's word. That's the hammering into the rock. Yes, Lord. It's a hard word, but yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And it's hammering our lives into like Proverbs and Jesus' teaching. And it's hammering our lives into overcoming, being an overcomer. overcomer. 
Now, that word beat against the house. The wind came, the, the storm came against the house, beat against the house is a word that means to, to, to well, it, it literally means to beat against, to, to hit. I've been hit for my faith. I've been scratched for my faith. I've been cursed for my faith. I've been, but I get up again in Jesus' name, his strength. So obeying his word adds strength in the hard times. But the one who builds his house on the, on the sand, hears the word, same word, hears the word, but doesn't do it, doesn't apply it, doesn't live it. And when the rains came and beat against the house, this is a different word. It doesn't just mean to beat against. It actually means to stumble. It means maybe to stub your toe against or to do injury. It's a different word. So the one who hears the word and does it, even though I'm being beaten, I'm not stumbled. I'm not becoming a victim. I'm not getting a funky attitude against life and against people. I I've got to get up and and forgive again, got to get up and love again, got to get up and go again. But it's saying the ones who don't hear God's word, don't apply it, don't live it, it's it's a stumbling. Evil times or, as some Bible says, harmful times or calamity, those moments damage us if we don't have God's word living in our life. We're getting damaged and more damaged and damaged again. And, And finally, there's going to be a crash and I want to say to you, if you're in that category, you can change like that with God's help. You know, this is not like you've got to work your way back to God. It's a matter of saying, I, Lord, I, I want to build upon the rock. I don't want to be offended anymore. I want to forgive again. I want to get up again. And I believe God's strength will come into you. If you are obeying and forgiving and things just don't seem to be getting better, I want to encourage you. Keep going. So when I wrote those 33, I wrote 33 applications for pharmaceuticals. Out of those 33 applications, I actually only got three responses. Two said, you're not suitable or you don't have experience. The one I did get said, you don't have the experience, but we're going to have you a, give you a chance at an interview. And I went in there full of the Holy Spirit, full of, I'd done my homework about the company. I'd done my research. I walked in confident really felt God with me. I got the job. I got my dream job back then. And, um, you know, I just really want to encourage you, just keep going. Jobs, um, maybe you're single, praying for a relationship, keep going. Maybe things haven't worked out financially, keep going. Maybe your marriage has been difficult, keep going. Maybe your prayer life Bible reading has been weak, keep going. Get up again, make new decisions Because it says the righteous will get up seven times. And you know what? If we hit the seven times mark, I think we just keep going. So seven times is not a limit. It's like a a repeater, a repeater. Keep going. Let me pray for you. Lord, I pray for those who are faithful, uh, faithful, the righteous, love you. And I pray that they would get up again. They would have an overcoming heart to get up and keep going, get up and keep going. And where the devil's trying to knock them is going to be strength. Holy Spirit power. And those, Lord, who maybe have not been building their house upon the rock, they're getting offended, I pray they'd come to you and say, Lord, help me. Lord, I give that to you. I cast that upon you, Jesus. Help me right now. And they would rise again in Jesus' name. God bless you all.